Hello everyone, welcome to Apigee Edge 4 minute videos for developers season 4. In this episode, we are going to see how to customize uh, the create app form in Drupal based developer portal. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apigee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apigee Edge account. You can sign up at apigee.com slash edge. You need access to Apigee Edge developer portal with an administrator role. Apigee Edge uh, Drupal based developer portal is available only for evaluation as well as uh, for the paid uh, customers of Apigee Edge. Let's take a look at uh, how to customize the create app form in Drupal based developer portal. As you can see here, I am logged in as uh, administrator into developer portal. Let's take a look at uh, how to add uh, new fields uh, to the create app form. Let's uh, go to the create app form by navigating to my apps and then click on add a new app. As you can see here, by default, there is an app name, callback URL and the list of products that uh, developers can pick and choose. Let's say you want to collect additional information uh, for, from the developer based on that you want to do some business logic in the API runtime. Uh, for that, you can able to add new fields using uh, developer portal application attributes. To add a new field, uh, go to configuration, uh, dev portal, application attributes and click on add attribute. Let's say we would like to ask user what kind of app is creating, whether it is an iPhone Android app or it is an iPhone app. Based on that, we would like to do some logic in the API runtime. Let's see how to collect this information and use this information in app GH. So I'm going to give an internal name, let's say app type and public name app type. Give a description, please choose uh, the type of application you're building and make it as a required attribute and uh, display this attribute. So we're gonna do it as a radio buttons or maybe a list of checkboxes. So checkboxes options uh, we are going to do as a value and label. So I'm gonna do IOS, IOS. Android, Android, and other, or maybe web, other. So let's uh, save this attribute. If you navigate back to the add app screen, then we should see this new field called app type. As you can see here, we have now a new field called app type and this information will go back to the edge as an app attribute and we can retrieve this information and use it in the app API runtime. So let's create a sample app, sample app 110, uh, give any callback URL, let me select iOS and Android, choose a product, or let's say a mock product and then click on create app. Now we have successfully created uh, an application in developer portal and we should be able to see the same application in AppGH also. So let me go to AppGH and uh, list of apps. I should be able to see uh, the app type. As you can see uh, in the details of the app, we can see the app type as well as we should see the same information in the Also. As you can see here, we have sample app on Anjiro created by Anil Sagar a few seconds ago. When you go to the app, you should see a custom attribute called app type uh, with the values. There you go, app type and iOS Android. So these custom attributes can be retrieved in the API runtime. Based on that, we can take and take various actions. Hope this is helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post your questions in community.apg.com. Thank you for watching this video.